So throughout playing the game, you're going to get a lot of UR tickets. You're going to get a lot of trainers that you don't even freaking want. Uh, so let the game sort of guide you. Like for me, Flemish was warned that this game, I got it for free. Never invest in Flemish, never pull for Flemish. Uh, Max, just from playing the game because of the UR tickets just kept coming for Flemish. Now, I, I can't even use Flemish, but I did get it for free. Rowena, another one. Playing the game, UR tickets, kept coming, got Rowena for free. Never pulled on Rowena. Got, like, I had her max before Isis even came because the game gave her to me for free. So that's one of the things when, when playing this game, you're going to get a lot of UR tickets. Uh, if you just keep playing for the events and everything else, um, you're going to be able to make it make UR tickets from jeans that you get. You're going to be able to uh, craft lectors UR tickets as well. So from playing the game, um, sort of let it guide you. So if you're in a rush to say, hey, I want to do this or I want to do that, um, it's going to be a little hard. I would. I'm always going to recommend focusing on pitching first and then moving on to batting just because, of, as I said, you get so many freaking positions from pitching. You know, you, you think that's 10 positions if we're including closing and relief pitcher. Uh, and you can you can still make no resolve with, with pitching and it still be perfectly OK. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, John and Do, and I'm coming back at you with another Baseball Superstars 2021 video. How are we doing, my boys? Uh, first and foremost, once again, I want to give thanks to y'all and to the community. Y'all just been showing your boy lots of love lately, and I really appreciate that. I just thank you for it. But what I want to talk about today, because I've been seeing a lot of new faces, a lot of new players, a lot of new growth, and that's wonderful. But a lot of people have questions about, man, how do I play? What do I do? Deck building, things like that. And that's what we're going to discuss. We're just going to discuss of basically your bases and what you want to build around or how you want to build on this game. Because it, starting anew, it is a little confusing. And I understand that and I do get that. So here's how it works. First, you have to determine how, you, how you're going to play the game. You know, you're going to be free to play. Are you going to Dolphin? Dolphin is where you spend just a very little amount of money into the game. Or are you going to well and just go all out and get every single deck? And that's what you have to determine first of how do you want to play the game. Like myself, I, I personally, I Dolphin. I don't have every deck. Um, I don't have every trainer. I never, I probably never will have every trainer max like a lot of individuals do who do well. But if you if you dolphin or, or if you're free to play, you want to determine what you want to build around first. Pitching wise, which is where I would probably go first, because the pitching you get your best investments because you don't need as many trainers to invest in in order to uh, build so many pitchers. So pitching decks. OK, so for sales, if, if you if you watch my channel, you probably see me run this a lot. This is going to be your pitching meta. And this is what you're going to focus on for Forest Elves. Now, of course, I do actually have the, the deck. I got very lucky, I, I might add, um, for, for this. The, the two duels, I, I pulled them, got lucky on those that are in my channel from way back then. But um, getting Rowena basically through UR tickets and not having them summon for even Belita Ditto um, was really nice. I did have to summon for series. But... I got lucky on the other trainers. This is what you want to focus on for your starting pitcher deck. And you can even make relief pitchers with this deck as well. So starting, whether you're going to go pitching side first or whether you're going to go batting side first, I would recommend you go pitching side first because you get so many more positions filled with your pitchers. You can make five starting pitchers with your pitcher. You can make four relief pitchers. And then also you get a closing pitcher. You can all make that from basically the same deck. So if you were if you were starting a new, thinking about, hey man, what trainers should I do? I would recommend starting on pitcher side first, investing in, in the meta pitching deck. Now I wouldn't go for Rowena first because she is she is the last piece of the puzzle. But I would any of these other five 
great. You know, Isis, Hather, Ditto, Belita series. Get those first and then go for the Rowena. Uh, best thing you can do, and that's what I would I would do if I was starting new. Now, it's going to take some time to get these, and that's why I say depending on if you're going to well, if you're going to dolphin or whatever, um, or if you're going to free to play. It's going to take time. Gonna, you have to be patient with it, you know. I would recommend start trying to get these trainers to three-star. Then after you get them to three-star, start building them up to five-star. If you can possibly get a duel to five-star right away from, from being patient and saving diamonds, that's a big gain and jump as well. But... Like I said, I would recommend, hey, three star, then push the five star. That's what's going to help you. Now, let's talk about batting. There's there's two sides of the coin to batting. You can, there's actually three. I'm going to recommend two scenarios. If you're a whale, you already know about ZK and, and what the decks can do for you in ZK. If you're going to, and once again, if you're going to free to play or if you're going to dolphin, you're not going to help off the trainers. That's just end of story. That's why for me, I personally went Shining Angels. Brissette was the first duel to come out. I went for her. I got her. And I went from Shining. I went to Shining Angels. I've never looked back from Shining Angels. Or you can go MU, which is with Anubis and Britra and also Siru. And you can go that route as well. These two scenarios I recommend because you can make your positions from 1 to 9, whether it's Shining Angels or whether it's MU. Both are great scenarios. Both are in-game scenarios. Um, you can, like I said, you can make 1 through 9 uh, from both scenarios. For Shining Angels, there's a lot of different things you can do, um, but the base remains the same. The first three trainers you need for Shining Angels to get the best bang, biggest value for your buck is going to be Michaela, Bassett, Rachel. You're going to need those three uh, in order to do Shining Angels. And what makes Shining Angels so good is on week three, five, and seven, Michaela and Rachel get special training for those whole weeks. So if you do the math, that's 12 trainings. Where you have special training guaranteed because you get those in three week three five and seven uh, and that's what makes shining angel so good it's only good if you have michaela and rachel and you know beset her being an int dex trainer she just hops between buffing both now taking that deck to the next level you need to get anubis once uh once you get anubis as well because anubis has the level three switch hitter you just either match him with either uh, Aura, you can match uh, for Cinefielder and a whole bunch of no, no resolve decks. You can match them with uh, Kai for a first base deck. You can match them with Saru. Um, you, and for that, you can either do a third base. I actually did a shortstop as well um, with that same deck. You bring in the Shining Angels Trinity plus the MU Trinity. But that's what you want to do, uh, and that's what's going to help you. Towards deck building as well, how you want to build your decks, it it depends. Like um if we look at this, we see it's not that that many max skills, but what determines how high and, and the quality of your character is gonna be actually be your SSR skills. You wanna to try to get as many of these maxed. I always recommend at least trying to get six max if you if you're pushing for a RR player. You at least want to have six of these max and then like two UR skills max and, and a high amount of level fours um, for your for anything else. So and that that's how this one is able to push beyond uh, and go into a RR stat. But when you're when you're deck building, you're you're really just trying to get as many max SSRs as possible. Um, and getting your URs higher is just going to naturally do that so you're not going to be able to get like you know 12 13 max skills with level 3 urs it's just it's not possible um, as you grow your urs to to five star they're going to get more skills so it's going to allow your deck to have more skills and for you to produce better quality players mu so mu also you can do a lot of different 
things with MU. I personally like don't like MU, and you don't have to take my advice on that. MU is great on the results of players you can make, but I don't like MU for the fact that MU has so much RNG. That's just literally like you know this game already has a ton of RNG, and it just adds more RNG to an already RNG game. And I personally don't like that. I'm going to say these are the four that's most important to MU, period. Um, then I'll give you a fifth as well, who's he's really important as well. So you have your MU Trinity, so your base for MU. You're going to want to get Anubis. You're going to want to get Britra. You're going to want to get Siru. That's your base, period. You have to have them to start the, the MU Trinity. After you get those three, you definitely want Ennis. Ennis is so freaking good. You definitely want to get Ennis as soon as possible to add to that trinity. And then your, your next person you're going to want to add to that is Dion. Super good as well. He adds so much to your MU. Um, so you want to focus on getting him as well. For MU, you need to focus on getting uh, Anubis and, and Britch would be the first I recommend. Um, definitely get Suru to to uh, three three star as fast as possible as well, so he can you can pair the uh, switch hitter. Um, then after you get them to max and you have your base, then start working on the Ennis and the uh, and Dion. MU, like I said, it's a good scenario. It's great. You can make the highest quality of players from MU for batting side, but it's just ton of RNG. If you are a gambler, definitely go MU. If you want something just more where you don't have to do as many runs, definitely go Shining Angels. Um, both are great scenarios. You can make great players from, from either or, so it's not like one is majorly ahead of the other. Um, I do think Shining Angels could use a slight buff where it just needs another UR skill, period. But besides that, they're still both great scenarios. You can, you can run them. Deck skills on this one, if I actually had my Helga to a good stance and of course my Ennis up, um, probably could have a lot of skills on this one because even right here, it's it's 10 skills. Now, I don't actually run this deck. This is a deck I am working on. I'm hoping that one day I, hey, one day I get my Ennis and Helga to a to, uh, point where I can run this deck because this is like top tier shortstop deck. Um, but I just don't, I don't have um, the max as you see. But if I did have to max, it adds more to my to my skills. So you see, right now just 10 max, and I can't remember how many skills it is when it is max, but it's much much more and it's a much better quality. But just get, just naturally upgrading your UR is going to allow that to happen. Now another scenario, another scenario. If you are well. You can well out in ZK for right fielder, left fielder. They even have center fielder decks as well for ZK. ZK is good for your outfielders. Uh, Dex is really good for your outfielders. It's just Dex is not meta um, because we have so many int pitchers and, and enough of that. But um, for ZK, you can go in there and you can make some really good outfielders if you're willing to too well for this deck because this this deck is really intensive um it doesn't cover that many positions as well so if we actually go and look at the trainers i mean it's it's intensive an intensive deck especially because some of these trainers they don't cross over you can't really use them elsewhere um aura she has so much versatility you know from shining angels and zk but most of the others don't. You're not going to really use anybody else in this deck in any other scenario but ZK. Um, and I guess you, you might be able to say that the same on some of the Shining Angels in the MU. But it's just not that um, you have to invest a lot for this. And because it's so non-meta with it being Dex hitters, that's, that's one of the problems I see with it. Now, if they start changing the meta and we start being able to make strength pitchers and, and uh, mental pitchers and and even dex pitchers more easily, things can change where ZK can can be really great. You might even be able to do a lot of no resolve deck uh, if you did have the ZK trainers and just make a whole bunch of dex batters. But right now, you have to face so many int batters. 
it's not the scenario I would recommend at this time. I mean, especially since you can go out, go and do Shining Angels or MU, produce just as high quality players uh, from one through nine. I do just want to keep this one short about who to invest in. So if I was going to go for trainers first, I would definitely go for any of the five pitching trainers for whether it's it could be Hather, Isis, Series, Ditto, or Belita. Those would be my first five I would focus on. Um, after I had those five to a good point, then I'll start focusing on Rowena. If I wouldn't batting side, whether it's Shining Angels, Michaela, Rachel, Bassett, or rather it's MU, Anubis, Britra, Saru. Um, those would be the first three I focus on. So batting side, that's those are what I would say. Pitching side, you got like five, but you got five pitches you can focus on. But either or you focus on, on those, you're gonna be a okay in the game. From there, when you start getting your UR tickets, let the game sort of sort of guide you and see what, what trainers to focus on from there. Um, if, if they're a low tier trainer, of course, you and you're gonna get those <laughs> flamish. Um, it is what it is, but if they're, you know, sometimes you're gonna get high tier trainers, you know, and uh, just have to focus on that. Another one that I never pulled on is Leone, and she's just sitting there, have no use for. Like I said, the game will give you what it wants. With that said, my boys, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace.